that's the Prison Meddler here. And I think I am at number 16 on the album ranking. And today I will be doing an album ranking on Suicide Silence. Now, I've been planning on doing it for about a month ago, but I decided to wait until their newest album, Become the Hunter, comes came out. But now it's out. It um, came out on Valentine's Day, so... Yeah, now we're doing it right now. Number 16. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, now on to my least favorite is their self-titled. I mean, really, are you that surprised? And I am not going to play any songs on there because that album sucks so bad that I can't even... I can't even stand listening to this album, and it just hurts my ears, and it's just not worth listening to. I think this is their only album to abandon their deathcore elements, and they move more into like a new metal sound. Um, and it just, and they tried so much to sound like Deftones, and it's just awful. I mean, they they couldn't do it. It's sad. they try so hard to sound like Deftones. They, it's just every song is just terrible. I mean, I do respect on what they're trying to do something different. That is really not the case here. I do understand they try to do something different, but this isn't. Uh, but it didn't work out. So, yeah, not surprising. This comes in with my least favorite. Alright, now, on to the fifth spot. is going to be, uh, You Can't Stop Me. Yeah, You Can't Stop Me. Um, so, um, yeah. I, now, this is actually a great album. Um, this is their first album without uh, the original vocalist, Mitch Lucker, to, because um, he died from a motorcycle crash in 2012. And, um, what up? Yeah. But, yeah, I just had to put this album as my second least favorite because I, th I think their other albums are better. Um, but, yeah, I do really like this album a lot. Um, favorite songs is Inherit the Crown, Cease to Exit, Control, which features um, Corpse, which is playing right now. And I think it features uh, Corpse Grinder, George Fisher from Cannibal Corpse. Um, you can't title track Monster Within featuring Greg Pusciato. I can't even say his name right. It's from Dillager Escape Plan. Um, Don't Die. Um, and the bonus track Blue Haze. Overall, great album, but it's just not my favorite by them. Okay, so. Moving on to the fourth spot is going to be the Black Crown. Um, now, I really do enjoy this album. I think this is probably their most popular album with songs like You Only Live Once, Fuck Everything. And this is their last album. This is their final album with Mitch Lucker on vocals. As I said before, he died um, from a motorcycle crash. Um, but, yeah, I I do think this is a great album, but I just don't think it's their best, in my opinion. Favorite songs, Slave to Substance, OCD, You Only Live Once, Fuck Everything... Uh, Witness the Addiction features Jonathan Davis from Korn. And 
Which song is the one that features uh, Frank Mullen from Suffocation? Let me let me find it. Yeah, I think it features Jonathan Davis and Frank Mullen. Well, he's no longer in Suffocation because he retired. Let me look. No, actually, no, there's actually three guest vocalists. Alex Rodriguez from I Set to Kill, which I honestly don't know that band. Very, I really don't know who that that band well. I never really cared for them, but I do like Corn and Suffocation a lot. So, yeah, I really like these two songs. Um, so let's move on to top three already alright number three is gonna be their newest album Become the Hunter um yeah this is their return to deathcore after a massive disappointment piece of shit album or self titled album even though this album sounds more like metalcore than deathcore for some reason, but I think that's just me though. But yeah, this is definitely an improvement on this album. Um, definitely instrumentation. Um, everything is just amazing. Um, favorite songs: uh, Two Steps, Feel Alive, Love Me to Death. Pretty much almost every song, but. Maybe the second half I may need to get some songs to re-listen, but I think it's quite enough for me to start ranking them. Um, but yeah, I, I do enjoy the guitar playing. It's probably... Uh, yeah, this album is an improvement over over their last, al last shitty album. Alright, now. Up to... The top twos. Number two is going to be their debut album, The Cleansing. Um, definitely a deathcore classic. Um, right now we're playing No Pity for a Coward. Um, there's nothing else to say. I just really enjoy this album a lot. Even though deathcore, I mean. Suicide Silence isn't really my favorite Deathcore band. My favorite Deathcore band would either be Carnifex or Whitechapel. But I think Suicide Silence is probably like my top three though. Um, or four. It's between that or Despise Icon. Um, but... Yeah, I do think this is a deathcore classic. Um, there's really nothing much else to say here. I just thought this album is fantastic, without a doubt. Alright. Sorry, guys, I'm eating. Didn't get my dinner yet. Alright. Now, number one. My favorite Suicide Silence album. Excuse me, guys. I'm. I'm. Um, my favorite Suicide uh, Silence album at number one is gonna be No Time to Bleed. Um, I thought this is an extremely heavy ass album. Um, I feel like this is the darkest Suicide Silence album. Um, think what else? I thought, I thought this is a deathcore masterpiece. Um, yeah, I think this is my favorite. I think this is, I think this is their best album in my personal opinion. Um, as you may know, um, it's got like. I thought the song, and then she bled, suffer, and then she bled, 
which is, I think it's like an interlude of a, I think it's some kind of, one of those famous uh, 911 calls about some monkey or gorilla that's kind of startling a bit. Yeah, that's it. But, uh, yeah, I just thought, I thought this is their darkest album, and I just, I just love it. So, um, that is my ranking for Suicide Silence, and what is your ranking for Suicide Silence? Let me know in the comments, and I will see y'all next time. Peace out.